Hi, hello. Today we'll talk about kth largest element in an array. This question gives us an array of integers and it was expecting that we have to provide kth largest element from that array. So in the provided example, they say that 3, 2, 1, 5, 6, 4, and we have to provide a second largest element from that array. So we can see that six is the largest and second largest element is five. And similarly in this example, let's better understand which coding pattern we can apply on this question. Let's see. Now let's talk about the example. Suppose we have some number, some collection of numbers, three, one, three, four, two, one, five, six and they were expecting second largest element from that collection. We got the clue that there are some collection given and they were expecting k the largest element. So we can go with top k element coding pattern. And what is this coding pattern? What's the template? Very simple, we already discussed when in most of the cases when smallest is expected we will use a max heap when some largest is expected we will use some min heap and second it's not a rule but this is about the basis and that smallest and that largest would be on some particle basis like size of the file it could be priority it could be uh, liberty which is famous kate largest might be kate famous uh, it could be distance from the origin or something it could be some basis actually any basis could be so all those sort of bases on the base of that we would they, they would be expecting some kate element largest smallest biggest or something we have to how in the template the first we will decide either we have to use max heap or min heap and then we will iterate on all elements when we will iterate on all elements it will give the complexity of big f n but the twist comes when we will only iterate and when during and iteration we will only keep k element in our priority queue either min or max heap so when we will use that so in this case we will achieve the complexity of big of n log of k so we will get this complexity and what happened actually this is some min heap that's some max heap this is some max heap and by keeping only k element we bring that required element on the surface and then we can just get it with just one dq that's pretty simple and let's go how we can implement that question welcome back so let's see how we can implement this coding pattern and we'll use pretty much simple the same template First, we will decide either we have to use min or we have to use max heap. Second, we will iterate on all elements, on all elements, and we will keep only k elements. And third, we will return head. That's a pretty simple template. And let's see how we can implement. We'll say wall. So either we have to use min or max they're expecting k the largest element so for sure we will use min heap min heap that will be our priority q of int and we will use ordering dot by which will be the min so we can import import scala dot collection dot mutable because priority queue is a mutable data structure and we will iterate on all elements
and we will keep on anchoring each element in our min heap. NQ that number and if that size of min heap min heap dot size get bigger than k so we will simply dq that min heap dot dq and we are done we will say dot head and finally we will return that head back let's run the code that's it thank you bye